What's going on? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1967 Mustang. This one here has a 289 under the hood, the power steering. Nice little car. Should be a good running and driving car. Drum brakes all the way around. We're going to do our best to beat the storm rolling in and get all the footage so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. Check out maplemotors.com for additional pictures, financing, and shipping information. Hit that subscribe button for daily content. You like the music? I produce it. Go to the music page in the top right hand corner. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Got to look around the interior before we take off. We are going to do a walk around video, so definitely check that out. It's separate from the test drive video. You can also find it the last 30 seconds of this one. Interior doesn't look too bad other than they got the mirror zip tied to the visor. I'd have to change that out, probably just buy a new mirror setup. It's showing 95,000 miles on the dash. Hard to stand behind that in these old classic cars. Go ahead and start her up here. Ignition, you got to jiggle a little bit. Get it to turn, mold keys. Gas gauge is coming up. Give me an indication that it's working. Same with the temperature gauge. Oil pressure as well as the alternator. Try the radio out. Radio's jamming. Is the horn working? I don't know. Let's try the wipers first. Place your bets on the horn if you think it's working. Wipers work good. You ready? No. No beat. Let's hit the road. I noticed one thing, this car needs seat belts. It does not have any. So we're gonna be easy on the test drive. And try to stay safe. Get some of sweat off my forehead. I don't want the rain to come in, but I do so it will cool down. And it's looking nasty over there. So we'll get over this test drive and get back to the lot. coming up on the dash as well steering on this car has just a small amount of slack as you can see it's turning there and it's turning there motors running nice and smooth a bit of rattling coming from the trunk area we'll pop it and see what's back there turn signals are popping up on the dash they got on their brakes in front of me pretty hard. I had to get on them on this. It stopped fast. Uh, my left turn signal is not popping up on the dash. I believe my bulb's out. My right one is working. And it doesn't cut off automatically. You gotta manually cut off the turn signals. a lot of noise coming from the trunk area we're getting ready to pull in this parking lot do some drive-by videos uh, see what it sounds like from the outside and I'm also going to do a full description walk around video of the car up here so definitely check it out and we'll see what's in the trunk it could be suspension back there too I'll find out here in just a moment if you want to see what I'm using to make these videos, look below. I have all the Amazon links to all my gear. Let's 
let's get it. figured out something on these controls it's blowing heat in here constantly this plate that whatever they made this one needs to go all the way up to cut the heat off so i'm thinking about taking that off so to cut off because today is not the day to be blowing heat in this car y'all up in the driver's seat we're gonna head on back to the lot it does sound like that's the suspension in the back i opened the trunk and i did not see uh, really anything in there at all so Let's see that's a rear shock making all that noise engine temperature stayed right at the midway it did not get hot at all oil pressure still good got the speed bump in it so you can listen to rattle shakes and kind of get an idea on suspension back in the lot here try to get some few uh, few more cars done today before it starts thunderstorming and we'll call it I do appreciate y'all riding I hope y'all enjoyed it all right guys I hope you enjoyed that test drive if you don't mind check out maplemotors.com we got financing and shipping information for you you can see all of our cars that we pick up we update once a week that's every Monday afternoon Close to 100 detailed pictures are also located on that website. And also check out the walk around video, point out any kind of flaws inside out and underneath of this car. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again. <laughs>